In my opinion, trucks look a lot better with the toolbox in the back. It just enables your truck to do a lot more so you can clear out a lot of that space on the inside of the cab and lock all your valuable tools and other things in your toolbox. And we're gonna be taking a look at the UWS crossover saddle style truck bed toolbox. The UWS toolbox comes with a set of keys, so when it's locked, no one's gonna be able to get in it, so all your stuff's gonna stay in there. But then when we unlock it, just like that, it's very, very easy to open it up from the side. And there's only gonna be a lock on the driver's side. Usually I put all my tools in there, and then whenever I'm ready to rip, I walk around, lock it up, and then get in the truck and go. So there's only gonna be a locking core on that side, which is totally fine with me. And you can close it from the outside of your truck really easily. You don't have to slam it shut or anything. And it is nice, all you gotta do is pull that and it opens up perfectly. Notice the lid, it's a perfect 90 degree and we still have plenty of room back here so it's not gonna make any contact with our cab. But this is gonna be great for if you have some of the bigger, bulkier items. Sometimes I have that big Milwaukee toolbox and it's nice just to pull it directly out. So since this lid is completely 90 degrees and straight up, we don't have to worry about kind of taking it out at an angle. You can get those bigger items out pretty easily. There's a lot of good things that are going on with the lid. One, the mounting locations for our gas strut here. They're gonna have a little bit of adjustments, but out of the box, everything was adjusted pretty much perfect. But if you have a specific something that you really wanna adjust it, you do have the ability to do so. And same with the latches up top. It's gonna be made of stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about them rusting away over time. And then notice the seal around the whole entire lid. We're gonna have a little foam piece right here, which is just gonna make sure that none of the dust or debris gets in here and the water's not gonna get in here, no way. So if you do bring it in a car wash or something like that, that pressure isn't gonna get through. But if you do live on a gravel road like me, everything gets so dusty so easily, but that seal does a pretty good job. But notice how when I close it, we have a pretty big overlap with the lid and the rest of the box, which that's nice. And that's just another feature that's just gonna keep all that stuff out so all your tools stay nice and clean. Another thing that I like about the lid is it's very solid, very thick. I have seen some other toolboxes that are even made of steel, unlike this one, that have a little swell in the middle. I don't think that this one is gonna dent in at all. It just feels super solid. I know a lot of people don't stand on these toolboxes, but some of my friends have, and I have seen them kind of cave in. So I was pretty impressed with the aluminum being so thick, and I really think this lid is super, super solid. This is a crossover style toolbox, and what that means is we're gonna have a little extra space underneath our toolbox for boxes, two by fours, loading ramps, whatever you need. So here's a universal measurement. I'm gonna measure from the bottom of our box to where it sits up on our rail, and that is 11 and three quarters of an inch. From that same exact spot at the bottom of the toolbox to the very top of our lid, it's gonna be 13 and a half inches. Down at the bottom section at the smaller portion of it, it's gonna be 61 inches from outside to outside. And then up top here, from the edge of the lid to the edge of the lid, it's gonna be 69 inches. And then the width of your top of the box is gonna be 19 and a quarter inches. And then going down to the bottom, it's a little bit smaller. It's about 17 inches in depth. So that just gives you an idea of how much it's really gonna take up in your bed. But if we open this up, now let's see exactly how much it can hold. This box is gonna be able to hold 8.4 cubic feet of stuff. It doesn't really do a whole lot for me, so here's a good visual for it. Well, one, we can fit a bunch of different tools in here. This is more than what I need at a job site, that's for sure. And the other cool thing about it is we can still kind of utilize these side pockets here to haul some other type of tools. And also, we're gonna have on both sides places to put our little screwdrivers. One thing to note though, if I were to put this taller screwdriver right here next to our gas strut, notice how the pivot point, it will come down and it really won't want to close if we did that. So I'll just show you real quick. 
if I kind of go down, you see how it's gonna hit? It's not really gonna work out. So just be mindful of that. That's why I put my shorter stuff towards the front. But we're gonna have that on each side. So we're gonna have five circles for five of these type tools on both sides. And the other cool thing about it is we have a little sliding tray. This is like perfect for batteries, tools, whatever. And there still is a little bit of room underneath, but notice how some of our stuff isn't really gonna work. So I'll give you that measurement real quick from the bottom of the box to the bottom of the tray, which you can remove it if you want. It's just all up to you. It's gonna be, let's see, let's see. I'd say seven and a half inches. So if we really wanted to maybe kind of lay all these boxes down, put them on the bottom, which would actually kind of bring a little bit more room to the table like that. Then we can slide everything around and then bring it back up on the other side. So there's a lot of stuff you can really do. And then if you look over here, like I said before, we're gonna have this on both sides, which is nice. You can really put a bunch of stuff in here. And one thing that a lot of these toolboxes don't do, so the whole mechanism to unlock both sides, especially if you have two latches, there's a rod that runs right here. So that's why they put this here. So a lot of the other ones don't do that. So if you really do pack your thing, your toolbox full of stuff, and maybe you hit the gas real quick or you're going up a steep hill and all that stuff starts to shift, sometimes it literally locks all your stuff in there because the rod can't really move. So I think this was a nice addition to the toolbox. So that prevents all that from happening. When it comes to how much stuff you can put in it, you can kind of see what we have going on here. We can definitely fit a little bit more stuff in here, but it all just depends on how you really stack your stuff. If you play Tetris, you're gonna be able to get the same amount of stuff and still have all this movement with the tray. I do like the tray. I think it's a very nice addition to it. But we still have so much more room. But to give you another representation of what you probably can't fit in here, we tried a five gallon bucket and that's a little too tall for the crossover style. So if you wanna fit that kind of stuff, that's a little bit taller, you might wanna look at the other types of toolboxes on our site. We have a bunch of them. Another thing about this is this is not only the crossover and saddle style, but this is a very low profile box. About two and three quarter inches from the rails of the bed of your truck. And the one last thing we haven't mentioned yet is how it installs. It's so easy. Literally, all you need to do is just have this little hook here. Take this off. And all this does is it just hooks into this little lip right here on your truck bed. So it doesn't take much time at all to install. So if you need to take it off for whatever reason, you can do that pretty quickly. And I just like that. It's not really like a permanent install. So if you're one that uses it sometimes and other times you don't, you don't have to worry about it being kind of a pain. And all you need to tighten it down is a 13 millimeter socket. And make sure it's a deep well because there is a little bit of threads left over. But maybe that can be one of the tools you keep in your new toolbox. Having a toolbox in your truck is also kind of adding to the look of your truck. This one is gloss black, but if you wanted matte black, this same exact one comes in that color. But if you also like the bare aluminum look, we have that one as well. So pick whichever one you think looks best. There's a lot of different brands you can go with with toolboxes. I think UWS is right up there with all the other premium brands. And I think this is a good entry level way to get all the features you really need. If I were to compare it to the top, it's probably gonna be weather guard. Weather guards have tie downs. Weather guards are gonna have a push button latch mechanism and they're gonna give you a hole in the side to run some power cables. That's basically the difference between the two. So we don't really get those features on the UWS, but I think this hits all those boxes I wanna check when I'm looking for a toolbox. At the end of the day, if you wanna enable your truck to do a little bit more, or you just wanna make it look a little cooler, the UWS toolbox is going to enable you to do that. And that's pretty much it for a look at the UWS crossover saddle style truck bed toolbox.